Can you not see that I want you to go? Just go! Let me go! If I let you go, you'll never see that one wee thing. What thing? The one good thing that happens, so wee that you might not even notice, but it keeps you going for a day. Maybe even a week. Then another wee thing happens. A man crosses a bridge on an empty street. He asks a woman sitting on a bench for a light. She says she doesn't smoke. Her turn's funny and moving. Bridge tells the story of a chance encounter between a seemingly clueless man on a mission to find a match for his cigarette and an exasperated and ultimately desperate woman who doesn't want to talk to him but can't make him go away. The encounter is anything but what it seems, however. In every real sense, it is a matter of life and death. And both of them know it. Listen. This is no way to die. No? What do you suggest? Oh, you could try smoking. I mean, look, it says right here in the pack, smoking kills. And listen, I hope you don't... Bridge. Um, it's still, it's a beautiful story for me. It shines a light in, a, in an area that can be deeply uncomfortable for people because there still is a lot of stigma. So this is the, the issue of suicide has a lot of stigma. People certainly. don't want to talk about it. And one of the things is, one of the big problems of that is it's something that we need to talk about in yeah. order to deal with it. Well, it's just a part of me that thinks people will let you take them to a very very low, dark place, provided you've given them, you know, a life a life raft to cling on to mm. when they need to. All I had to do in many ways is just trample on taboos. Right. And then it was funny because a lot of humor is just about, you know, tramping on, on the taboos, you know, and, uh, you know. In 2015, 6,000... 188 suicides were recorded in the UK. It is estimated that one in six people experienced a mental health issue this week. More than 32,000 people in the USA take their own lives each year. That's one person every 16 minutes. These issues impact most of us at some point in our lives, in our relationships at home or in the workplace. Our short film, Bridge, tackles the subject in an uplifting manner, encouraging folk to talk, listen, and engage. Donna Francis Child uh, kind of nailed this when she said nobody wants to talk about suicide. But we have to talk about it. We don't have a choice. If you don't talk about it, nothing can be done about it. It's as simple as that. And if this little film opens up the dialogue then we're doing a good thing. It's a taboo subject. Nobody wants to talk about it for a plethora of reasons, personal reasons, societal reasons. Yet the problem is we do have to talk about it, we do have to address it, we have to shine a light on it in order that we can tackle it. Or the, the agencies who are at the front line of suicide prevention or, or mental health issues, they have to be able to address these issues in order to combat them. Anyway, so Katie Murphy did it and I I was a bit wary of her doing it at first because I'd never seen her do anything serious. Anything in the showbiz column? <laughs> it was Vincent Diver that got stabbed at on Buckingham Frank Sinatra, Mr Clockerton. She had a quality and still does. It's unlike any act, other actor I know. It's, it's like that sort of brittle in a hard way yeah. but also very fragile yeah. in a porcelain kind of way do you mind if we take a look in sally's bedroom you know just look at her stuff that's fine yeah yeah okay. of course Thanks. thank you stephen duffy my lord italian a guy who's got uh, tremendous experience and you're not lack for advice here my dear sister it's not just experience but stephen's got good experience of life you know, and uh, he's, a, he's a great, uh, empathetic guy, you know, he, he has a lot of feel for, for what goes on with other people. So he immediately responded Can to Can I us. have the white horse? And, uh, 
in, in ways that weren't just about, I've got this gig, you know. There's more to it than that for Stephen. characters in this piece are called man and woman because they're every man and every woman and actors like Katie Murphy and Stephen Duffy who most people will be able to relate to and, and, and engage with um, as the performers in this piece that is it's why we're so lucky that we've landed the cast that we have um, it helps people access this piece I think but I think like I love Donna's work, you know, period, um, and I think like um, the rest, you know, our other pieces of work, it's got great humanity and compassion, but very witty as well. Yeah. Um, and what I always think about Donna, like not many other writers, um, she gives working class characters um, intelligence and nuance and complexity in a way that, you know, writers like John Byrne and Jimmy McGovern do, but there's not many, and uh, I think that's quite precious, and that's in this uh, piece as well. I think it's quite beautifully constructed. I think it's like a like a lovely jewel. It's just very, um, it, yeah, just b b very, very beautifully wrought. Okay, if someone puts money into this and, or invests in this, and they think down the line that their investment has, changed or even saved someone's life, that that's a split second decision or something they have done, then that's a difference I think would move anybody. Mm -hmm. It would move, it would move me. And like when we were talking about the bridge and you were doing, I asked you if you'd give me some, some a bit of dialogue to, yep. to, to use that, because I know when I hear you talking, when I hear the, act, the actor speaking, you've got to let so much of it go and you're going to pin it on a word, so you know the part of the sentence that you're going to hit. Now, whether the director agrees with you or not, that's what I'm going to go for first, what yeah. I think. If he doesn't, well, obviously you're going to have to go with the director on it because they're the boss. <laughs> Two factors to the crowdfund. One is, I don't, as a first-time director, meet a lot of the criteria for the public funding bodies. You need to have made some. There's a chicken and an egg. Egg. There's a chicken and an egg situation there. Um, in order to make something, you have to have made something, you know. So there was that issue. But there's also the issue that a project like this, which is dealing with a social issue, which needs to be taken to a wider audience when we make it, we've got the chance to engage with that audience now. We've got the chance to engage with the people who we'd be relying on in a few months from now to help spread this film through word of mouth. We get to engage with them right now. The film's called Bridge and it takes place on a bridge and there's a lot of safety issues involved in presenting this and filming this uh, in a way that gets the message across. And we really do want to get the quality into it. You know the quality of filming, the quality of expertise, the quality of, and it takes it takes quality equipment. You know we're shooting this on this little uh, this little sequence here on on, uh, on an iPhone. We we can't do this film on that. You know we can't. We really need to have the right kind of budget and the right kind of finance in there to make sure that the film works at the level that it has to to make the difference that we want it to make. Tell me again how much you need. 21,844 pounds and 66 pence. Fantastic, I think. What's wonderful is whether you invest a fiver or a tenner or a hundred pounds or more, you get your perks and all that. And you're, you know, there, there are things that, that we've listed that, that people will get. Um, but I think there's something more than that. There's being part of and being involved in this project. Um, I think for those who invest and, and come with us on this journey that we're on, they, they know that they're part of something that is more than just a wee short film, uh, you know, made for perhaps vanity reasons. They get to be involved in and in part of a, a project that hopefully can have a bigger impact, it have a, an impact in society, it deals with a taboo issue and it 
will hopefully help people at the end of the day. And it's not often as a, even an actor or a director that you get to be involved in a piece of work that is not just beautiful and uplifting and uh, emotionally satisfying. It might, beyond all of that, impact people's lives. That to me is fantastic. Just leave me alone. Alone, eh? Hmm. You know, they say we're born alone and we die alone. The rest of the time alone is pretty rubbish if you ask me. What do you want to be alone for? <laughs>